Hello my beautiful angels! As you can see, this is a totally new video and I decided to continue with this idea to prepare something good and tasty for people who are vegan. I'm not actually yet entirely vegan, but I think it's a great idea as well. And today I wanted to cook uh, the simplest, the easiest chia pudding. So as you know, I love sweet things and I'm just trying to control my sugar addiction so I think it would be nice to prepare chia pudding with you and to share for you as well how it might uh, affect your life in a better way so let's proceed with me to the kitchen but before we proceed you know what to do don't forget to click this button if it's still red make it white subscribe to the channel because i test so many things for you from the skincare and hair care and the makeup of course and now i switch a little bit to the lifestyle cooking and sport so and of course don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and if you want more videos like that let's go just a small update and i honestly don't know if you can hear me right now but my ring light just fall down together with my phone and my microphone and the connection between my phone and the microphone just broke and the rest of this um whatever you call it so the rest of this connection between you can see my ring light yeah between the mic and between the iphone is just still inside of my phone it's broken like in two pieces so it's stuck inside of my phone and i'm talking now just to check if you still can hear him can hear me if the microphone in the iphone is working which i'm not sure because it's a, a really huge piece which stuck inside of my phone and i don't know what to do and i heard forecast about this day that you just have to spend it at home because it's the last day of the moon and tomorrow is the new moon so it's going to be like really negative energy today um i knew and i usually follow the things but there is nothing super negative you know to film video for you guys but um Honestly, I don't know what to do now. I'm just filming this for you so you can see what's really happened. And um, and yeah, this is what exactly happened. So I will check now if the mic is still on. So then I will try to film for you the video. So guys, as you can see, I'm in the kitchen right now. At least we've got light, but um, no microphone and i decided that i'm still want to do this video and just to see how it turns out without the microphone this is the piece uh, the cable which i was talking about and this is exactly the part which connects to the iphone so all of this metallic part which is supposed to be inside now inside of my phone uh and i don't know how i'm gonna charge it later because i need to fix it obviously most probably tomorrow or today in the evening i'm gonna go to i don't know like mechanical shop or something just to <laughs> to get this thing out because it's a disaster it's never happened to me and this is the cable which i bought in apple so how it can be broken like that so you understand now with such a strong power ring light just fall down and my phone as well but okay here we are my kitchen and i'm so excited to do this amazing chia pudding with you so let's decide which ingredients we want i was thinking actually to make it a little bit sweet tasty and to use all the fresh and frozen berries so that the dessert will be more tasty especially for me you know sugar addict <laughs> so i have here next to me uh from earth's finest organic black chia uh seeds gluten free of course very stylish to mention on each food which you buying like it's gluten free this is gluten free which doesn't contain gluten gluten anyway and will never contain gluten gluten still they will mention gluten free yeah because people keep looking for gluten free and this is one of the part of the marketing um okay so let's go chia seeds then we need the coconut milk not gonna use alpro because i want it creamy like a pudding and sweet and tasty so i love this one 
um, again, Earth's finest coconut milk. So whenever you will see coconut milk in the can, it's more likely coconut cream, I neither milk because it's gonna be like really like a cream, even though, but it's very creamy and has a lot of fat inside. It's like more oily compared to one is more watery because it's like a milk which you will eat with your oats, with the cereal, which we, which you will use in the daily life. It's a coconut and almond. Of course, almond is very watery, we know it. But this and the second one I have here, organic coconut uh, milk with a full cream it's from organic leather so i like organic leather um brand honestly that's why i decided to take two to see which one exactly i like both of them with the opener so you can open it very easily and prepare the coconut milk and chia seeds we need a place where we gonna do our pudding and i decided to use small container let's call it uh, because I'm not sure that it's gonna be very yummy and very tasty, so just decided to try. Uh, these two containers I prepared. It's actually a very small glass container. You can see it, it's very small. Um, but I think for the dessert, it's gonna be enough. This is how we're gonna close it. So it is glass. Um, just for you to know, I don't like to use plastic in a daily life and I don't like, um, I'm not talking about water or something else because uh, not for everything I found the solution so far, but in a daily life I don't like to store my food in the plastic, so I use only glass big containers for the food. Um, which are made from the good glass and you can cook in that glass in the microwave and in the oven like the high quality and this one as well like you can buy to store some spices or something usually I keep there uh, lemon and ginger for our tea so now these two and I decided that I will make it um, in a different uh, way so one of those will be with the fresh berries one of those will be with frozen and we will see how we're gonna do it right now as well i will pick up some ingredients from my fridge right now which are gonna be frozen berries fresh blueberries and small banana i think it's it would be nice to put okay so i picked up fresh blueberries one mini organic green banana and i think it will be enough the size is just perfect uh of course frozen blueberries it's actually left just a little bit so we might use all of that of course frozen blackberries it's my favorite berry and i am really lover of pineapple so quality frozen pineapple let's start now I think I will just switch this camera to my hands and you will see how I'm gonna prepare all of it. So I'm so excited and most probably I even gonna eat it today in the evening later. If it's gonna be ready, of course.
so my beautiful angels it was a really experience as you can see um so obviously you saw all my mistakes and here it is um one small tear jar with second small tear jar one with pineapple and blueberry one with only blueberry and blackberry and now it's going to the fridge and of course i will share with you later how does it taste so totally 100 percent vegan uh gluten free how they would love to say it and that's amazing and tasty sugar free dessert let's go to the fridge meanwhile right now most probably i will prepare very nice tasty vegan eggplant for dinner but this is going to be in the next video don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to watch previous video and see my reviews on all the beauty skincare and the hair care routine thank you so much for watching my beautiful angels and I will see you in the next video. Bye!